Good day, YouTube. All day today, I am the Trash Shutkin, and welcome back to the DNS Tech Pack. Let's play episode 40, I believe we're on now, as long as I haven't got uh, mistaken here or there. How are we all doing uh, today? I hope we're all well. Uh, I think we are. I think we're well, aren't we? We're well? Good. So, last episode, we did a couple of things with environmental tech and mechanism. Um, not a lot, but enough. Enough. Uh, we were looking at making some stuff into Calculator next. So, it took a long time to try and figure out what I was looking for, because in the Info, calcu info Calculator, it's not listed what I was looking for. So, not very useful. The things I was looking for is these docking stations. That's what I'm looking for. Docking stations. Now, these guys, these guys are really pretty cool, as what they do is they basically allow it to be calculators, your normal calculators, uh, these guys, to be automated. So let's head down into our basement, uh, and I've also cr crafted uh, some another cal scientific and normal calculator. If we have a look, my ones are still in here. Ta -da. These are spares. So we need a place for these to go. Over here. This area is not being populated with stuff yet. Docking stations. Now these are going to have to go on the surface, I believe. So you're going to hold normal calculator. And I'll give you that much of a berth. I'll give you scientific calculator. So with these, the different uh, ports give them different things. But of course they need power. You do need RF to come into here. So I think it's the bottom where I do my power from. I think the bottom's power. So where's the nearest power from? You, you're only using leadstone over there. Kind of want to have you to have good power. Let's grab a... The... Point. It's not a point. It's a plug. Drilling. Oh. Point. Let's bring it over here. Cool. Let's put the point like right here. Select it to my network. And let's get some ducts. Let's get some decent ducts. I know it probably doesn't need them. Uh, let's use the redstone ones because they're like 9000 RF per tick. I think I had told how to make. Did I actually tell how to make the fancier ones, the top tier ones? I don't think I did yet. I told you how to make signalum, but not resonant ones yet. These guys will do for now. Anyway. So let's uh, power them up. So these guys should both have power now, if I'm correct. Yes, I'm correct. Cool. And now they each have certain bits you can plum, plug into and out of. So for instance, this normal calculator, I believe, I think actually the same with the scientific. I think it's only when you get to the like the flawless, because it's got like three slots in it. I think these both of these guys only have two. Yeah. So if I like, adopt this normal one, it's the left slot from the left side and the right slot from the right side. And I think you can pull out of it anywhere, so I suppose like the Pull out the top, maybe. Yeah. So let's go back here. And of course, there's water behind here. Of course, there is. You know what I should make is the uh, grab. Actually, is let's have a look in my abilities. Grab a couple water breathings. Uh, oh, yeah, of course, I've stored all my experience away once again. Let's grab some of this back. Oh, 
water breathing. Oh, you only need one level of water breathing? Cool story, bro. Yeah, actually, let's put my levels away again. Don't know if there's like Depth Strider, I think it was called, where you can swim in water a lot easier. Anyway, let's uh, pull out a stack of cobblestone. This is roughly where I'm going to want it. Ah, there we go. And just what I wanted to get to was this guy. Well, you've already got three of eight channels. Yeah, you should be fine to use. So we're here. We've got ability to get to the back of this guy. these guys. Let's get started. So we need a couple of interfaces. One more. Let's get some P2P. Just need one of these. Cable, there you go, pilot cable. And we need a card, and I think we've only got one of you this side, maybe up here somewhere, I think. Boop. And boop. So, do I want to do this? This into chest could really just done it with one rather than two if I'm doing it this way. Yeah, so I'll go this into chest. So I need a chest. I think this is the best way to do it. Like that. And then whatever goes in the left goes in the left, whatever goes in the right goes in the right. So on and so forth. So we'll need some impulse item ducts. Servo. Uh, servo or filter. We'll need servos and filters. So we'll get servo and filter. I don't know if I actually made up the filters all crafted yet. Nope, but I've already got, I need more. I need more. We'll, we'll get to that point in a minute. So, looks like I'm going to have like just the right amount. Where on earth did you come from? Go over here. It's like, where did I hear a skeleton? Where's the skeleton coming from? Let's make a couple more filters. So, actually, we need one more. Unless I do what I've done in the past, let's make some more item ducts. Let's make a few more of them, actually. And I'll do what I did in the past and have it so that it outputs to that thing. Let's then... Change this slightly, I think. Let's also eat. So 
So let's make it so. Well, the interface could. Let's put the interface one back. Do the Emmy tunnel here with the memory card. Not that. that and what I'll do is I'll get the item ducts my crescent hammer and I don't actually know if you can pull out the top we'll soon see Oh, I'm sneezing so much. Anyway, uh, da -da -da -da. as I say, I don't know if we can actually do it this way, but we'll soon find out. Okay, cool. And um, it's going to go to there. Let's do this like here. Boom. Cool. And we'll see if that can output. At the top in a minute. So we've got our filters, we've got our servos. So we filter, 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 filter. I'm not gonna bother. Oh, servos already on. So servo can always be on. Actually, for now, let's leave it off because we need different things to do different things to do different things. So, for instance, our normal calculator. Uh, normal calculator we uses it should be able to tell us what we do with it uh, can be used to make reinforced stone which is definitely something we need and also enriched gold again something we need and enriched iron so gold redstone iron reinforced stone cobblestone and log okay so let's I'm gonna put some of this stuff away and we can start actually Gonna put this away, put this away. Cool. Start setting up some auto crafting at so let's think about it. We said redstone one redstone. Let's go to the calculator. Where does it again? Here. Gold and redstone equals four enriched gold. Good thing I have a big pile of it. Four enriched. So we need our redstone. Redstone and a piece of gold. Let's go plumb this in to our automation. See what it happens. You also need to be set to that way. So you take that. You take, was it the gold on that side or was it the redstone? You're the gold on this side, white list, and we're going to say one at a time. You white list redstone, one at a time. I don't know if that matters or not, but uh, that's the way we're going to do it. So I'm going to ask it for some enriched eye uh, gold. See what happens. One set go. Oh yeah, ignored. In there, that's powered. Oh, yeah, we haven't got a servo on the top yet, have we? No, two servos to pull out. 
These are going to have to be set to pull out only certain things, I would imagine. So let's take my enriched gold and say your whitelist enriched gold. And I've taken that out, it's going to have to let's go back into our system. Crafting cancel. Let's try again. One set of them. Done. Cool. That works. Obviously, we'll have to tell it how to smelt it as well. well I'll, I'll do that in a minute. So, I'm going to go through a couple of different recipes because it's going to be boring and take me a wee while. Not a wee while, but it's going to be boring. You see me do the recipes far too often as it is. So, I'll do a recipe of cobblestone and wood to make reinforced stone. Iron and reinforced stone to make reinforced iron. And I think... I don't know if we'll do the enriched coal. Might do the enriched coal recipe. And stable stone. I'll probably do stable stone. Yeah, reinforced stone and stable stone. We'll definitely do that as well. Don't need rain sets. So, I'm going to do a few crafting recipes off camera. And I'll be right back. And I'm back from doing a little bit of... <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. A little bit of adding stuff to the, you know, patterns and interfaces and uh, 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 auto crafting. That's the word I was looking for. We're now able to auto craft a couple more things from calculator, including enriched coal, even weakened diamonds. Added them in as well. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. There was something else added in. Other oh, ref uh, reinforced, reinforced ingots. I did reinforced stone as well, but that doesn't seem to be here for some strange reason. Oh, because that's from sonar core, not from from calculator. Anyway, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. So we'll keep going from back from the sword, because that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming to get this sword. So we need end diamonds, which need to go through an atomic calculator. So to make an atomic calculator, we need an atomic assembly. This is a thing we should definitely get plumbed in, but of course, first we're going to need to be able to all craft them. I've got that plumbed in yet. Doop. Uh, advanced assembly. Looks like that. Sometimes I listen to music when I'm off camera, so I turn off the sounds of Minecraft. There we go. Uh, we'll probably need something else. Let's go back in here. We needed an atomic module, I believe, was the other things. Let me just double check that. Yeah, atomic modules. They need tanzanite. And we don't really have tanzanite yet, but we will be getting tanzanite soon. And it does look you can actually get it multiple ways. So it's tanzanite using an algorithm separator. With lapis lazuli gets you one. Okay, actually, let's just uh, let's just J E I tanzanite. See if we can <clears throat> get any other way. There's actually a tanzanite crop, and that gets you the tanzanite from biomes of plenty. I wonder if it did say we could use the biomes of plenty stuff in in there. And even the, those turn into the large ones. So, I know what we're going to do. <clears throat> Definitely going to do that. Do we actually even have any tanzanite in the first place, though? I doubt it. No. We do not. So we get some lapis. And where was it in again? It was in this algorithm separator. I don't think we've got an algorithm separator. So we need two stone separators. I believe that's the stone. Yeah, we've got one stone separator. Shouldn't be too hard to make a algorithm separator. Algorithm assimilator. No, that doesn't. Probably figure out at some point. So we need two power cubes and two stone separator, which needs another pile of power cubes. Should maybe tell how to auto craft power cubes. These are things I should maybe have plumbed in before starting. 
don't know if you know how to make furnaces, so I'll probably just... I, I doubt it does. Don't think I would have taught it how to make a furnace yet. So that should make power cubes. Uh, make me like... 20 power cubes. Also not put speed upgrades in something in there. And stone separators. I don't think we need to auto craft stone separators. I don't know what other uses they have, but no, that's it. We're not gonna auto craft stone separators. We're just gonna do them au natural. So we need two of them. And then that. Oh no, we need was it blocks of reinforced iron. So we need Something like that. Now that'll probably take a little bit of time. I don't know how fast that machine actually runs at. Uh, we've not been, I've not been paying attention to it so much. Right, there's obviously a dark, oh yeah. Like, where's all this darkness coming from? God, that thing was annoying. So, oh, what the? Did you put an iron in there? God damn it. I haven't set you up yet. Alright. Also, yeah, I didn't do this yet either. Uh, wood. And cobble. <clears throat> ah, no. You need to be set on blocking mode. Derpy derp. Let's take you guys out. Take out that. So that goes reasonably fast, and I do believe these things can take like some sort of speed upgrade. I can't remember which one, but it does take and speed upgrade. Uh, so while we're waiting for that to work, I'm just going to go into my bag and grab my normal calculator. And just grab some reinforced stone my way that way. I'll probably populate somewhere. I don't know where. So I mean like that's reasonably quick. Even without having a uh, speed upgrades in here. We can speed upgrade it maybe later. So uh, da 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 Let's see about how many blocks. Got three so far. Just need another <coughs> nine of those. Yeah, we should be able to get enough in a second. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four of them. Algorithm separator. Now again, this algorithm separator will need power. Um, actually, do can we automate the algorithm separator? We probably can. So let's, let's yeah, let's put it down here. Let's um, put it there. Disconnect all the connections. Like I said, we could probably automate this, but I'll do it. Did I just edit? Derp derps. And. I don't have any redstone on me. Because I put them away, think I'm done with them. But I'm not. <clears throat> Boop. There we go. You've got power. So you take lapis. Make that happen. Don't know if we will make the tanzanite. I don't know how much we need tanzanite. I can also just automate it with this algorithm separator. I think that would probably just be as fair enough. Keep within the mod, eh? So one lapis lazuli equals one tanzanite and a tanzanite shard. But, uh, it's guaranteed every time, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So tanzanite shard would probably be, yeah, a few of them equal tanzanite. Do you need them for health modules anyway? 
I'm trying to think what I needed to Anzanite for now. Oh yeah, Atomic Module. Cool, 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 cool. Let's impulse duct back. No connect. Yeah, let's let's your your filter. Let's connect you back up again with a filter of lapis. Filter of whitelist lapis. There'll be no limit. A servo. Give me a resin one. Wow, you must have to craft something for once. You have to craft indidium. Oh my word. Let's just use a signalium one that's sitting there. You output tanzanite whitelist. Ah, it's not going to pull out the top, is it? Uh, that's poopy. I'm guessing you're only going to pull out this side. Uh, that's annoying. I'm going to take a wild guess that it'll output out of here. That is a servo. Yes. Let me just see what happens when I Tanzanite whitelist. Aha! Uh -huh. It is not out that side either. At the back. Oh, it's got nowhere to go, of course, though. Okay, just for now. Do that. So it's got somewhere to go. It's not exporting out there. Let's go back to that side again over here. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to pull this stuff out here automatically. I presume if I had, uh, let's make sure this is disconnected again. Yeah, if I put lapis in there, that comes in, but it doesn't. Hmm, you'll have to figure out a way how to auto pull that stuff out. Mm, we'll f I'll figure that out at some point. But now we've got the tanzanite, which means we can do something that we were wanting to do before. Um, which was these guys, right? Right. Pretty sure that's what I wanted to do. Why not? Okay. Sword and atomic. Atomic is crafted. Atomic assembly. So let's make an atomic assembly in here so we can auto craft them. Atomic assembly. I should have everything in there available. I haven't got to flawless assemblies because I haven't got flawless stuff yet. I presume I'll need flawless diamonds or whatnot. So let's see about getting an atomic assembly. Atomic assembly. Got everything there. Go. Done. Atomic assembly. Boom! So now with an atomic assembly, we should be able to make an atomic, whatever it's called, calculator. So we're just missing some reinforced stone. Calm, malm. So we need a calculator screen and some sonar core reinforced stone. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Is you derped up again somehow? Because I'm crafting maybe more than... <coughs> oh, you're not set to export it.
There we go. There we go. Atomic calculator. Boom! Now, I don't know if we can auto craft stuff out of the atomic calculator. Doesn't need power. So, since we don't need power, we can just have it here as a manual thing, possibly for now. Or we could. Looks like there's a lot of useful looking crafting recipes here. So we'll probably need them. So we could probably auto craft this. I might set this up downstairs next to the other stuff, but I'll do that maybe later. Maybe like off camera, because I don't think there's too much. Uh, there might there might not be a way to auto craft with it. I don't know. We'll see. It's maybe the same as ah, oh, it's the same as a flawless calculator. So if we get to the point of being able to make flawless calculator, we'll be fine. So we need end diamonds, which needs electric diamonds, which needs a conductor mast. And a conductor mast is made in the atomic calculator with two energy modules and a fire diamond. And a fire diamond is two diamonds and a blaze rod. That seems pretty straightforward. So energy module, I don't know what an energy module requires. Or even looks like, because I've already forgotten. Because me! Is it one of these things, was it? Energy module. Energy module. Here it is. Scientific, with a power cube and purified coal. Purified coal was scientific with enriched coal, and yeah, yeah I didn't actually program this stuff in. Ah, that'd be another thing to have to auto craft. <clears throat> but how about I do some more of that stuff off camera in between episodes because we have actually hit the wrapping up point for today's episode. Uh, as I say, in between, I might try and... I can't automate the auto atomic, but the flawless I can. So I'll set up a little bit more automation about the calculator stuff, some more programs and whatnot, and uh, we'll be good to go next episode. So guys, I'm the Trish Etkin signing off. Have fun!